Right now, downtown Music City is rocking with pride from the LGBT community and its supporters. The 26th annual Pride Festival is kicking off with a concert right now at Public Square. And that's where we find Fox News' Michaela Lewis explaining some changes to us this year. Michaela. Erica, it's the perfect night to be outside and especially here at Public Square Park where Pride and Concert is going on. Now, No 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 just left the stage and J.D. Sampson is getting ready to take front and center to help celebrate and reflect on the LGBT community and all of its progress over the years. Now, this concert is only one of the new additions this year. The annual Pride Festival is now a two-day event instead of just one. This is video from last year which shows what Saturday will look like here in downtown Nashville. Pride Fest organizers say this time there's going to be more vendors and events for the crowds. Nashville Pride is volunteer based. The group says it worked hard to get the extra day like most Pride Fests in the country. And we wanted to make sure that we gave everybody an opportunity to come to visit Nashville Music City that lives close enough to do that and give them a reason to be here for the whole weekend. Really spike up our commerce and show that we do have an impact on, on the economy here in Nashville. Even though there are changes this year, some things will be the same, like Mayor Carl Dean stepping out in support and speaking tomorrow afternoon. Lower Broadway will also be home to several drag shows and tons of music as well. Now, there's still time to come out here tonight and tickets left, so if you want to catch the end of this show, it ends around 11 o'clock. Now, on Fox 17 News at 10, who Nashville Pride is giving a special award to tomorrow afternoon. Live from downtown, Michaela Lewis, Fox 17 News.